Elon Musk, Sam Altman's former partner in building OpenAI, has released its own large language model and it has left the AI industry shocked. Elon Musk named it Grok AI, a chatbot endowed with a sense of humor. How does Grok AI differ from ChatGPT? What lies ahead for language models like ChatGPT now that Grok AI has entered the scene? Let's dive into it. According to its website, Grok is designed to answer questions with a bit of wit and has a rebellious streak. An advice that says, please don't use it if you hate humor. Witty, right? Grok is a term coined by Robert A. Heinlein in his 1961 science fiction novel, Stranger in a Strange Land. In the book, Grok is a Martian term with no direct earthling translation. Critics have debated the word's exact definition, but have generally settled on some version of expressing a profound empathy or intuition with something. Merriam-Webster defines it simply as a transitive verb that means to understand profoundly and intuitively. So Grok is like your very own AI buddy inspired by the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's not just about answering questions. It can even help you figure out what questions to throw at it. The cool part? Grok stays in the loop with real-time info from the X platform, making it your go-to for the latest buzz. Plus, it's not afraid of those spicy questions others might shy away from. At XAI, the whole deal with Grok is about making AI that's actually helpful to us humans. They want it to be like a super smart sidekick that's all about gathering input from everyone, being inclusive, and giving you the power to do cool stuff. All within the rules, of course. Grok can help you in your research, always ready to help you dive into info and spark some innovative ideas, all with the big picture aim of expanding what we know. So you might wonder, what powers Grok? Well, Grok One is the powerhouse behind Grok, and they have been tinkering with it for the past four months. They started off with Grok Zero, a kind of prototype with 33 billion parameters. That was the testing phase. Fast forward, and they have made serious upgrades in the last two months, turning it into Grok One, a super advanced language model. It is already taking major improvements in coding and reasoning skills. It's like the superhero version, scoring 63.2% on the human evil coding task and a whopping 73% on MMLU. To really get what makes Grok One shine, they have run it through the paces with a bunch of standard machine learning tests that check out its math and reasoning smarts. So, Grok One didn't just meet expectations. It aced the benchmarks, leaving other models, even ChatGPT 3.5 and Inflection 1, in the dust. The only ones that outperformed it were the big shots, like GPT-4, which had a crazy amount of training data and resources. Obviously, improvements are moving fast and efficiently at XAI. And just to be sure the models weren't accidentally picking up info from those benchmarks floating around the internet, XAI threw them into the deep end. Developers hand-graded Grok, Claude 2, and GPT-4 on the 2023 Hungarian National High School Math Finals, a test they've never seen before. Grok pulled a solid C, or 59%. Claude 2 matched with a 55%, and GPT-4 snagged a B at 68%. No special tuning needed, just a real-life test on a dataset that Grok 1L aced. In the realm of deep learning research at XAI, it's not just about algorithms and data sets. You've got to have a rock-solid infrastructure. Grok is crafted based on a custom training and inference setup using the dynamic trio of Kubernetes, Rust, and Jax. In the website, XAI said, LLM training runs like a freight train thundering ahead. If one car derails, the entire train is dragged off the tracks, making it difficult to set upright again. There are a myriad of ways GPUs fail, Manufacturing defects, loose connections, incorrect configuration, degraded memory chips, the occasional random bit flip, and more. When training, we synchronize computations across tens of thousands of GPUs for months on end, and all these failure modes become frequent due to scale. To overcome these challenges, we employ a set of custom distributed systems that ensure that every type of failure is immediately identified and automatically handled. 
at Xay, we have made maximizing use fuel computing per watt the key focus of our efforts. Over the past few months, our infrastructure has enabled us to minimize downtime and maintain a high model flop utilization, MFU, even in the presence of unreliable hardware. Rust turned out to be the superhero in the tech toolkit when it came to crafting infrastructure for Grok. It's not just about high performance. Rust brings scalability, reliability, and maintainability to the table. Bugs? Almost a thing of the past in XAI's distributed system. Now for a small team like XAI, keeping things reliable is the name of the game. If their infrastructure isn't rock solid, innovation takes a hit. Rust gives XAI the peace of mind that tweaking or overhauling code won't turn into a headache. Rust is a guarantee that whatever they do will keep things ticking along smoothly for months with minimal babysitting. In XAI's research journey, Grok, armed with slick search tools, sometimes throws out conflicting data, sparking the challenge of fortifying its reasoning. The mission, XAI, is delving into scalable oversight, utilizing AI to optimize human tutor's time by cross-referencing, double-checking, and ensuring consistent and accurate feedback. Formal verification is in the spotlight, aiming to grant AI systems a code correctness green light without incessant human input. XAI is concentrating on boosting reasoning skills in less ambiguous scenarios, providing a safety net for AI. Long context understanding and retrieval take center stage. XAI envisions Grok, fetching spot-on info at the perfect moment, actively working on methods to enhance its model's savvy capabilities. In the battle against adversarial attacks, XAI is on the offense. They're reinforcing language models, reward systems, and monitoring setups to fend off optimizer bullies causing chaos during training and serving time. While Grok still lacks advanced vision and hearing, XAI is on the case. They're gearing up to equip Grok with multimodal capabilities, envisioning a future where it sees and hears, broadening its applications for real-time interactions and assistance. Beyond the tech buzz, XAI's mission is crystal clear, and that is to make AI a force for good. They're building safeguards to keep AI on the right track, ensuring it contributes significant scientific and economic value to society. The prototype is currently in its early beta phase, having undergone just two months of training. It's exclusively available to a limited number of users for testing before XAI plans a broader release. Interested in being among the early explorers? You can sign up for the waitlist to get a chance to interact with the bot. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, envisions Grok becoming a feature of X Premium Plus, a subscription service priced at $16 per month. Musk seems to be positioning XAI as a formidable contender against companies like OpenAI, Inflection, and Anthropic. Grok is still in a very early stage, yet it is already generating significant attention online. Anticipating its public release, especially given its founder Elon Musk's track record, promises even more impact. Is it your belief that Grok will match the level of OpenAI's ChatGPT, or does ChatGPT still stand as a strong contender? Do you think that the months Elon Musk invested in developing Grok not be enough to surpass OpenAI? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That concludes our AI news for today. To stay informed about the latest in AI, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to receive alerts when our videos are posted.